write a C++ program to create a doubly linked list and sort the elements in the linked list. In this program, we will see how we can create a doubly linked list by inserting node at the beginning and end of the doubly linked list and sort the elements present in the doubly linked list. In this program, we are creating a class which is named as D-linked list for doubly linked list. We are giving the name as D-linked list. Now in doubly linked list, each node will have three details. One is the data need to be stored and the next two are the pointer to the next node and previous node. So we create a struct which is named as node. Data is used to represent the element that need to be stored at a particular node. And there are two pointers. One is next that points to the next node and pre points to the previous node. In doubly linked list, there will be two pointers, begin and end that points to the first and last node of the doubly linked list. At the initial time, both begin and end are initialized as null. In doubly linked list, there are two different ways of traversal. One, we can do traversal from begin to end. That means the first node to the last node, which is generally known as forward traverse. So in forward traverse, we have to start displaying each element of the node starting from begin to end. So first we check whether begin is null. If begin is null, that means the doubly linked list is empty. There is no node present. Else we perform any iterations, we use a while loop for doing the purpose. So we create a temporary pointer variable of node PTR, which points to the first node, which is begin. As long as PTR is pointing to some of the node, that means PTR is not equal to null. We display the value which is present at PTR. So PTR data. PTR data will be displayed. After displaying the PTR data, we move the PTR to the next, to the next node. So we write PTR equals PTR next. This while loop will keep on executing as long as the PTR is pointing to one of the node, it will execute. So PTR will go to the last of the node so from the last of the node, the next node will be null. So it will stop the execution of the while loop. Similarly, backward traverse. In backward traverse, we have to display the value of all the nodes starting from end to begin. So we are writing backward traverse method. So we check here whether end is null. If end is null, definitely the doubly linked list is empty because if at least one node is there, both begin and end points to the first node. The temporary PTR variable has been initialized at end. That means pointer will start from end and we check whether PTR is not null. If it is not null, not null, we display the data PTR data and the new PTR will move to the PTR's previous node. So we have written PTR equals PTR prev. So the pointer points to the previous node. So it will keep on moving to the previous node when it reaches to the beginning at the first node, it will stop the execution because from the first node, the previous node will be null. Next, we are writing a method which is named as insert beg, which is used to insert a node 
at the beginning of the doubly linked list. So here X is the value that we need to keep it in the new node. So we are creating a temporary node which is named as TMP. So it will be having three details. One is its pre value, another data and next. So when we are inserting a new node at the beginning, its pre should be null because that is the first node. We mention X into the data of TMP data. Now we have to check whether begin is null. If begin is null, that means TMP is the first node that get inserted into the doubly linked list. So we make TMP's next also null because there is no further node. And we make end as TMP because TMP becomes the last node. Else, if begin is already pointing to some node, then the currently created TMP should point to the current begin. So TMP next equal begin. And the current begins previous should points to the new node which is created, which is TEM. So begin prev equals TEM. So already there is a node which is begin that is get joined with TMP. So TMP's next will become begin and begins previous will become TMP. After that, begin should point to newly created node, which is TMP. Next, we are writing a method which is named as insert end that is used to insert a new node at the end of the doubly linked list. So we create a temporary node which is named as TMP. Now, since it is joining at the end of the node, definitely TMP's next will be null and the X is getting stored into TMP's data. So we created TMP's data as X and TMP's next as null. Now we have to just change the value of TMP's pre. Now if N is null, that means there is no node currently present in the doubly linked list, then TMP will be the first node which get created. So TMP's pre will be null. both begin and end will be TMP. Else, if end is not null, that means already there is an existing node in the doubly linked list. Then the newly created TMP node should point to the end node. So in the else portion, we write TMP's previous node is end. So newly created TMP's previous will point to the existing end node and the current existing end nodes next should point to TMP, newly created node. So newly created TEM will become the last node. So we have written end equals TMP.
Next, we are writing a method which is named as sort list, which is used to sort the elements present in each of the nodes of the doubly linked list. So for this purpose, we are creating two temporary node variable, which is named as i and j. So here we are using the logic of taking each node and comparing with the rest of the nodes which are present in the doubly linked list. For example, the first node value will get compared with second, third, fourth till the last. Then after that, the second node will be compared with third, fourth, fifth and till the last. So each time during the comparison, if the prior node has a greater value than the successor node, it needs to be swapped. It needs to be exchanged. So here we are using first a node pointer variable i that points to the first node which is begin. So as long as in the while loop the i is not null, we use another pointer variable j that points to the next of i. So for example, if i is the first node, j will point to the second node. So as long as the j is not null, we compare the value of data present in i and j. If it is greater, we exchange the value. Each time in this inner while loop, we have to make the j to point to the next node. So we write j equals j next. So j will keep on moving to the next node and the while loop will get repeated. So the first node will get compared with the second, third, fourth till the last. After the completion of the inner while loop, i should point to the next node. So in the next iterations, the i should be taken as the second node. So i equals i next. In the main method, we first create an object for the doubly linked list class, which is named as obj. In an infinite while loop, we display the various possible user options for the program for the doubly linked list. One for insert PEG, second for insert end and third for sort operations and four is for exit from the program. We accept the choice in a variable ch. The ch value will be compared by using switch block and we write different case, case one, two, three and four. Case one is for inserting a new node at the beginning of the doubly linked list. So accept the node value as an integer. And we call the method insert BEG. With the node value, which is VAL. The case two is for inserting a new node at the end of the doubly linked list. So we call the method insert end in case two. Case three is for performing the sort operation. So we call the method sort list which will sort the nodes value of doubly linked list. 
In case four, we exit the program execution by calling exit method. After the switch block, we display the elements present in the doubly linked list in both forward traversal and backward traversal. So we call the method forward traverse and backward traverse. Execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this tutorial.